never done with those boys have. Harry, I don't lock the door, Timmy. I need to get back to work. Maya? Oh, the kid must have overheard us. Figured out we're using him to rob the joint. Timmy won't help bad boys steal. Well, you might as well. You already broke into the store. And that makes you a burglar. Okay, let's hope we can find Sheridan's children from her past life as Susan. Right here. You know, it's gonna be so hard to ID Sheridan's husband through their children. We don't even know his name. And that's if Sheridan and her husband even had children. Well, I have to know who Sheridan spent her former life with. And if her husband made her happy. Franklin Leva Jr. Our son. One of our four children is still alive. And he lives right here in Bermuda. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You know, not only is it an incredible coincidence, but the thought of finding our son, I mean, a man old enough to be yours or my grandfather, it just boggles the mind. Come on. Let's go talk to him. Wait, wait, wait a second, Diana. We can't just barge in on the guy and say, hello, we're your parents from a previous lifetime here. Right. Drop dead right on the spot. All right, well, we'll think of something on the way. Come on, let's go meet our baby. As I said, I'm Mrs. Crane, so uh, what do you have for me to see? Time out. I'm looking for Ethan Crane's mother, Mrs. Julian Crane. You're too young to fit the bill. Unfortunately, Ethan is no longer a cream, and his mother certainly isn't. Julian divorced her, and he married me. Therefore, I am Mrs. Crane, and that belongs to me. Now, hand it over. No, I'll keep it until I see the former Mrs. Crane. Why? What is it that you have? And what does it have to do with Ethan? That's between me and Mrs. Crane. I told you, I'm Mrs. Crane. Now, hand it over. I'm calling the police. No, don't. The hired help is playing his role perfectly. Teresa wants everything that's mine. My name, my money, my son. There's no way she can keep her mitts off that box. <laughs> and when she sees inside it, she is going to think that Ethan killed Julian because of her. She's going to be so guilty. We are going to be able to get her to take the fall for her precious little Ethan. Then, and it's just a short little walk to death row. We can flip a peso to see who pulls the switch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's so funny? <laughs> Look that way to the cops when they see what Big Brother saw. Huh? Oh no! What is this going on? Hey! Yeah, Twerp, you're busted. So you might as well go all the way. Timmy's been good ever since he's been a real boy. He's going out the way he came in. Don't even think about coming out here. So tell me what's so funny. Well, I... I just told your mother an off-color joke. <laughs> oh, I, I could never repeat it in, in mixed company. <laughs> oh, well, after catching a glimpse of your home videos with Julian, that, that'd be fine. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with cinema verite. Oh, please. Rebecca, Ethan doesn't have time to debate you. He's too busy working on my appeal, aren't you, darling? Nonstop. You know, there are some files up in my room. They might be able to help you. And I think your book might be there, too. Okay, thanks. I can't let Ethan see that video, 
Dave. It would blow our plans sky high. Yeah, because Ethan would know it was a fake, because he didn't kill Julian. Or did he? Oh, don't even start, Rebecca. Well, if he didn't, then who did? Oh, please, I know you're not looking at me, because you could have just as easily killed Julian. That's why my plan is so brilliant. Nobody is going to confess to killing Julian. But to save Ethan, Teresa will. Mm. I mean it. Hand it over, or I'll call the police. Look, stop. There's no need to involve the police. At least not yet. What? I'll be in touch to discuss price. And don't think that's the only copy. What are you talking about? You'll see. What could possibly be on this tape that's so important? You played her perfectly. <laughs> I'll let you know if we need your help again. Pleasure doing business with you ladies. Mm -hmm. Believe me, the pleasure was all hers. Oh. <sighs> Teresa, like all vermin, will take the bait. She'll watch the tape. We will be witness to the beginning of the end. All right. Okay, Teresa, about Ethan. Is that Whitney? What is this tape? I, I don't know. This creepy guy left it for Ivy and I took it instead. A videotape, I wonder what's on it. Well, it's none of your business what's on it. Uh, it is. I'm Mrs. Crane. This is my house. I have every right to know what goes on around here. Teresa, with me. there's a VCR in the library. We will go watch it in there. We can't let Whitney see that videotape. No, if she thinks Ethan killed Julian, then she will never let Teresa take the fall. Oh. I have to know who Sheridan spent her life with as Susan after the Titanic sank. Was the man that she married good to her? Did he make her happy and keep her safe? Luis, you know, this could be a wild goose chase. We may never know what happened. I know. I just have to find Sheridan. Luis, no matter what you find, you're never going to find Sheridan. And she, like Susan and Liam, is dead and gone. That's odd. It's the right address, but it's a church, and surely our son can't live in a church. Well, he could if he answered the call and became a priest. That must be it. I can't wait to meet our son. I wonder if people call him Father Frank or Father Franklin. Well, the answer is Father Frank. Uh, would you be Father Frank? No, I'm the, the church caretaker. Oh, uh, would you mind taking us to see Father Frank? Of course. Father Frank's this way. The entrance to the parish house was bare on back. Yeah. It's just the scene, that photo of Sheridan from 90 years ago, looking as alive as she did when I last saw her. It just brought back a lot of memories. I know. Listen, there's no need for you to apologize. I know how much you miss Sheridan. 
And moving on with your life isn't like, you know, taking a trip from point A to point B. Sometimes your heart just goes around in circles and you end up right back where you started. Like now. Wow. This is crazy. You, you know I don't believe in ESP or what, whatever it's called, right? But oh, I just feel like certain is in pain right now. Like our heart is breaking. I'm sorry. I I should have warned you that Father Frank had passed away. I just wish we'd known. We would have come sooner. And I would have given anything to have met him. Talk to him. Just for a little while. Were you relatives of Father Frank's? Ah, oh, you must be. You look a bit like him, especially your eyes. His eyes had the same deep blue. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, we, we were related to Father Frank. Yeah. Father Frank just loved his family, his siblings and, and his parents. When the priest came to gave him his last rites, Father Frank's final words were about his mother. Susan, I think her name was. Well, I'll leave you and you can say your goodbyes. My son, I never knew you, but my heart is breaking. breaks for my son. to clean out the cash, the mutt gets it. I really wish you wouldn't do this. Why? What's the worst that could happen? I can't let anyone but Teresa see that tape, especially not Whitney. No, no, no. She could convince Teresa not to fall for Ethan and go to Sam and tell him that she saw a videotape of our son murdering Juliana. Oh, Beck, I never should have listened to your stupid plan. Uh, would you stop complaining so I can think? Oh, no wonder the tape won't go in there. There's already one in there. Oh, I hope it's not one of uh, Beck and Julian's home movies. What? Trust me, this is not the time for the Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Now we can see what the big deal is. This tape. <gasps> Stop! You can't watch the tape. Wrong, Rebecca. Why can't I see what's on this tape? It's Ivy. Oh, she's in excruciating pain. Pretend you're Ow! Right. Ow! 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 You see what I mean? Ow. She needs to have her pain medication refilled. Ow! 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 Call the drugstore. No, I can't. There's no refill. Ow! Ow! Whitney, please. Ah! I was hoping you could find your mother, please. And and have her write me a new prescription. Well, did you did you try to call her? Yes, many times. I tried her at the hospital, too, and I can't find her. Please, Whitney, I am in agony. Yes. Ow. Oh, ow. 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 Please, would you do ow. something? Because this constant screaming is just getting on my nerves. Oh. All right, fine. I will. Oh. Yes. Uh, uh. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go try to find my mother, and I'll be right back, okay? Go ahead and watch the tape without me. 
I'm dying to know what's on it. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you. Oh. Put Toto down! He's Timmy's friend! Well, Timmy's friend ain't in Kansas anymore. So either let us in, or Toto's roadkill. No! Don't hurt Toto! Or what? Or... Or... Yeah, thought so. Now open up or say bye-bye to the Bow Wow. Luis, when you, as Liam, died on the Titanic, Sheridan, uh, Susan, she moved on to start a new life, to find love with another man. <laughs> and even in the letter that she wrote you, Sheridan said that it was okay for you to do the same thing. She wanted you to move on, and... To find love again. I know, I want that too. Hey, you know I do. I know you say you do. <sighs> and listen, I truly hope that you find the answers you want about Sheridan's past life. My question is, then what? I'm not following you here. <laughs> what about this life, Louise? The life that... We're left together in right now. Do you really want to try and start over, or... Well, have you changed your mind about us? Are you going to leave a... our son? up where we left off and we'll try and build a life together but it's like you said moving on after losing someone it's not like just going from point a to point b you know it's gonna be a little rocky at times this is one of those times yeah sheridan is part of my being and obviously because we've had all these past lives together i can't just turn my back on that i'm not asking you to I want you to be at peace about Sheridan. Okay, well, look, it's just gonna make it a lot easier for me to move on in this life if I know that Sheridan was happy in her past life. Okay. As long as you know that you can't change what happened. <laughs> look, I want closure, okay? That's all. Okay. Come on, let's get back to the website archives. I mean, even I'm curious to see who took Liam's place in Susan's life. I mean, I doubt that he's still alive, but, you know, I guess his soul could have been reincarnated. The man that Susan fell in love with after she lost you, well, he could be alive right now. Yeah. What? What if it's someone that we know? All right, come on, the odds of that are like one in a billion, okay? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, let's see if we can find out who Susan wound up with. Look, the one woman in first class on the Titanic named Susan and a ship's officer named Franklin Leva had four children, one of which Franklin Jr. is listed as still being alive. Sheridan's son. Glenn, my little boy, my darling little son, I can't believe we're finally together, reunited after all these years. Franklin? Yes, Mother. Good desire. But you're old. Don't worry about me. I had a happy life. Just as you and father did. Just as you and father will again. I wish I'd known I would have come sooner. It's all right. 
we'll meet again. Until then, know that I love you and Father with all my heart. We love you with all our hearts. I wish you happiness and good health. I'll wait on you, but don't rush, because I'm a patient man, and I have my siblings to see. Oh, Franklin, don't leave yet. Franklin. some kind of days. Are you okay? I saw him. I saw our son. First as a little boy and then an old man. The caretaker was right. He had your blue eyes. That's amazing. He said that he had had a wonderful life. He, that you and I were very happy as Susan and Franklin and that we would be happy again. Well, this is beyond incredible. I, uh, you must have connected with him when you touched the headstone. I, this is something I will never forget. Since your family, I thought you might like to come into the church and see Father Frank's office. We would like that very much. find her mother to give you some more pain pills. So unless you and Rebecca want anything else, I'd like to be alone. Oh, of course. You just go back to watching whatever it was you were watching. <sighs> right. The tape. Let's just see what this is. Let's hope Teresa can watch the fake tape of Ethan killing Julian without any more interruptions. Yes, the sooner she takes the rap for what she thinks Ethan's done, the sooner the steak can make her go snip, crackle, and pop in the electric chair. Mm -hmm. <gasps> now what? Come in. Layer Designs has just delivered these swatches for your approval, Mrs. Crane. Oh, Phyllis, thank you. I can't wait to start decorating. <laughs> Damn it, Teresa, just turn on the VCR. And then pick out a nice stripe for death row. Let Blair Designs know which fabrics I liked. I want them to get started in here right away. Okay. Ivy's stuffy old money look in here is just too heavy for my taste. Oh, my taste? Can you believe her? She probably thinks Chippendales are cartoon characters. Uh, look, this is no time to lose your cool, right? She's, she's finally alone. She's going to watch the tape. Sorry to intrude, I'm just looking for a law book I need. Oh, no! Ethan can't see that tape. Oh, I know 
don't see it. I must have left it somewhere else. Well, wait. What do you think of these fabrics that I picked to redo this room? Well, Teresa, I don't really think the library needs to be redecorated. Oh. Oh, well, you know, I don't either. I just, I just wanted to, you know, freshen things up a bit. Well, you know, for the time being, this is your house. You can do what you like. My mother will just have to change it once she wins the appeal. Ivy will get this house back over my dead body. What do you know? Teresa and I finally agree on something. Maybe the little interloper will finally watch that tape. All right. What was I doing? Oh. The tape. Let's see what's on this thing. kid talking to? Himself, Pinhead. Haven't you noticed how he talks to himself? He is one weird dude. Those boys tricked me into breaking into here. They want you to open the door so they could break the Lord's commandments and steal. But Jimmy refused help, and they said they'd kill Toto if he doesn't. I know you love that little dog, and I don't want him to die. But what can Jimmy do? It's not my place to tell you, Timmy. You're a real boy now, with a real conscience. Let it be your guide. How? Oh. Your conscience is like God's voice in your head, telling you right from wrong. If you listen to that voice, you'll do the right thing every time. Thanks, Angel Girl. Now Timmy knows what to do. <laughs> we actually found the sole surviving child that shared it, that Susan had with First Officer Leva. Now, if we can find Franklin Leva, then, well, we can find out if Sheridan was happy or not. I'll call the station house. Maybe they can find out where he lives and maybe even get his phone number. <laughs> First officer Lever was. What did he look like? That's Franklin Lever. Oh my God. Oh, looks like Antonio. Could it be that Sheridan spent her past life with Luis's brother? I mean, if she did, and what Luis said the fortune teller told Sheridan is true, that someone would forever come between him and Sheridan. That someone could be Luis's own brother. I can't let him know what I found. This would kill him. Headquarters tracked down Franklin Leva. And guess what? He's a priest and he lives in Bermuda. This was Father Frank's office. Feel free to look around. Diana? 
goodness. It's amazing how much you look like Father Frank's parents. If I didn't know better, I'd say the two were one and the same. That can't be now, can it? How are you folks related to Father Frank? Distantly. Yeah. Well, genes are a funny thing sometimes. How they skip across generations and then just pop up. Like, like a resemblance to Father Frank's parents. Why, well, he'd say it was a miracle. Yes, a miracle. Well, I'll go and make some tea and you can look around some more. Thank you. son said we were all happy and we'll be happy again yeah you did say that that's just i still can't believe all this i mean to actually find proof that we were together in another life and for him to contact you from that life and tell us that you and i are going to be happy again in this life i couldn't be happier me either <laughs> incredible. One of Sheridan's children from her last life lives in Bermuda. And he's a priest. Yeah, uh, Father Franklin Leva Jr. It, it's like our past lives and our present lives are tied to that island. You know, I'm going to call Franklin Leva Jr. And I'm going to have him tell me about Sheridan and, and the man that she loved after I died. You're welcome. Godspeed in your quest to save charity. Put Toto down, and Timmy will unlock the door. About time you got to move. Mark. Go, go. To me, please. Just give me cash. Come on. There you go, there you go. We call this loot. <laughs> we may even give you a cut. That right. You and the mud aren't going anywhere. This is it. Teresa is finally gonna see the tape. Can't we? 
Oh, this must be the night that Julian was murdered. Of course she does. And soon Julian will be the only one 